Good morning. Good morning. My name is Brian Castro. I'm the music director here at New Thought Unity Center in Cincinnati, Ohio. And it's good to see everybody brave the frigid weather. And it's really nice and warm inside. And I feel good. Do you feel good? I feel good. <laughs> All right, band. feel good I knew that I would now I feel good I knew that I would now so good so good I got you Ow! I feel nice <laughs> like sugar and spice Angel's Wings. Oh, good. There's a new sale. Wrap it up sale at Angel's Wings. All scarves are BOGO. I mean, it's buy one, get one, equal or lesser item free. Lots of scarves to choose from due to generous donations. Silk, mohair, cashmere, cotton. Many fabric styles and colors are available. Angel's Wings is open today from noon until 3 p.m. Stop in to update your collection of scarves. And the Galleria of Grace gift shop is open. Be sure to stop in and see Tina Boyard uh, today after service. Browse the unusual handmade jewelry, gifts, cards, and of course, books galore. Go fund me page for the purchase of a new elevator. Kim Ballou has organized this fundraiser to be used for the purchase of a new elevator for the center. Donations can be made directly to GoFundMe using the link provided in the email blast and on our web website. We have currently raised $4,200, and our goal is 2500 $25,000, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and it's growing. It's growing. It's growing. <laughs> We're going to have two elevators at that <laughs> A Course in Miracles. The next class is this coming Tuesday, January 16th at 630 in person here at NTUC, facilitated by Susan Bartels. $5 love offering is suggested. Circle of Light Spirituality Soul Study. Next class is Wednesday, January 17th at 6.30 p.m. 
in Friendship Hall and via Zoom. $5 love offering is recommended. Celebrating 125 years of vision on the shoulders of greatness. Please join us for a potluck luncheon and roundtable discussions on Sunday, January 21st. That's next Sunday. Following service in Friendship Hall, we will be making plans to celebrate this milestone as a spiritual community, as well as planning for the future. Please bring a dish to share. So join us in Friendship Hall after service for coffee, tea, and light snacks. And for all events, see the web page, a website, email blast, or Facebook event for detailed information. <laughs> There's a new world coming, and it's just around the bend. There's a new world coming, this one's coming to an end. There's a new voice calling, you can hear it if you try. happy to be here today to see all of you and you that are joining us on Facebook Live or on uh, the live stream on um, YouTube. We're happy to have you with us in this sacred place. Let us start with our affirmation this morning. And this one I want to say first, and then I want you to join me in saying it with vigor. On this day, I believe that anything is possible. Let's do it together. On this day, I believe that anything is possible. Amen. Let us pray. Divine Spirit, Mother, Father, God, we give thanks for this brand new baby day called Sunday. Oh, this is the weekend that we celebrate the legacy of Martin Luther King, Jr. It's a new day coming, and it's time for a grand rising within each of us. 
to do what we were born here to do as we are divinely appointed and anointed to love ye one another. Love is the answer. Blessings to all of those in the sound of my voice who may be sitting at home alone and wondering who loves me. Well, I tell you, Everybody at New Thought Unity Center loves you. Reverend J.J. loves you. And most of all, the divine loves you because you were divinely created. And you are precious, each one of you. Saying hallelujah for today's service. Saying hallelujah to the band and the singers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so it is. Amen and ashe. Let us do the prayer of protection together. The light of God surrounds me. The love of God enfolds me. The power of God protects me. The presence of God watches over me. Wherever I am, God is and all is well. Please so it is. stand and join us in singing something wonderful. Something wonderful is happening to me right here, right now. Something wonderful, something wonderful is happening to me right here, right now. I can feel it in my body. I can feel it in my soul. Feel it in my soul. I can feel it in my heart. It's in my heart. And it won't let go. Oh no, no, no. Something wonderful. Something wonderful. Something wonderful is happening to me right here, right now. Something wonderful. Something wonderful. Something wonderful. Happening to me right here, right now. I can feel it in my body. Feel it in your body. I can feel it in my soul. Feel it in your soul. I can feel it in my heart. Oh, feel it in your heart. And it won't let go. Oh no, no, no. Something wonderful. Something wonderful. Something wonderful is happening to me. Right here, right now. Something wonderful, something wonderful, something wonderful is happening to me right here, right now. While you're standing, it's time to meet and greet with a handshake or a hug or a simple namaste. Make a new friend. Turn around. And for those of you online, let us know who you are and where you're watching from on this frosty morning.
recommend, as always, we can continue this fellowship after service down in Friendship Hall. But for now, please have a seat and say with me our mission and vision statements. Our mission statement is, in God, we are an inclusive, abundant community, experiencing love, transforming lives, and serving others. And our vision statement is, we celebrate a world of harmony and oneness, a place of loving stewardship, sacred connections, and pure joy, where all are welcome with honor and respect. And what we'd like you to know more than anything about New Thought Unity Center is that wherever you are on your spiritual path, whoever you are, whatever you look like, whoever you love, however you identify, you are welcome here, and we are grateful that you've chosen to be with us this morning. If this is your first time, there is in the back corner a newcomer's table. On it, there are packets of information about the center. And um, after the service, uh, someone will be back there. Oh, Kim will be back there to uh, answer any questions that you may have. So again, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Now we're gonna settle in for meditation. expand even more in your minds. Your mind is divine. Your mind is the mind of God. Knowing that you and me and all sentient beings are one with the one. And knowing this, we know we know beyond any doubt that we are blessed, we are highly favored, and it is our Father's good pleasure to give us the kingdom. We must know what it is we desire. We must know that part of our desire must be help you one another, love you one another, Lift ye one another, for as we lift each other, we lift ourselves, and we shine our light, and darkness is overcome.
we ease back into this moment, I invite you to hold on to this moment and remember who you are, remember whose you are, and let everyone know and shout it from your bedroom to your living room outside your house. All you need to say is, I am. And we know that you are the I am of the I am. And we let it be. Woke up this morning, saw a world full of trouble now. Thought, how do we ever get so far down? And how's it ever gonna turn around? So I turned my eyes to heaven. I thought, God, why don't you do something? Well, I just couldn't bear the thought of people living in poverty, children sold into slavery. The thought disgusted me, so I shook my fist at heaven said, God, why don't you do something? And he said, I did. I created you. If not us, then who? If not me and you right now. Oh, it's time for us to do something. I'm so tired of talking about how we are God's hands and feet now, but it's easier to say than to be like angels of apathy who tells ourselves it's all right, somebody will do something. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm sick and tired of life and no desire. I don't want to play. I want to fight and I want to be the one who stands up and says, I'm going to do something. If not us, then who? If not me and you right now. Oh, it's time for us to do something. to do nothing it's time for us to do something we are the salt of the earth we are a city on a hill shine 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 we're never gonna change the world by standing still Not enough to do nothing. It's 
time for us to do something. It's time for us to do something. Is the time now to do something, folks? If you believe the time is now to do something, say amen. 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 I am, again, happy to be here and um, grateful to see my niece in the back. Hi, baby. Yes. You know, when I thought of the blessing of coming here this month and I enjoy being of service to this community who showed me a better way of faith in 1984 when Pat Barker visited Xavier University. I didn't know this place was here. And she took it to the streets at a Jesuit university. Now, you know Catholic Jesuits are liberal. That's where I learned how to drink Heineken with the priest. <laughs> and, um, you know, I learned how to eat quiche. We didn't eat quiche in my house. We had scrambled egg with cheese, but if we put it in a pie plate, it would have been quiche. <laughs> or maybe a frittata. I don't know. But she came and invited this black girl with this great big old afro with proline oil sheen on it, smelling like strawberries. I thought I looked good and smelled good. <laughs> My mother used to say, you smell like a French, and y'all figure out the rest. <laughs> Pat accepted me. She accepted so many of us that are here, she and Jack. And they are both very missed. But it's a new day and it's a grand rising. And you have Sister Spiritual Director Kim here now. And this is your grand rising. Today, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, dear God. The title of my talk today is Grand Rising Unity. It's a new season, it's a new day, and it's time for all of us to do something. Because if we keep doing the same thing the way we've been doing it, we get the same results and we say, what's wrong with this? Now, Einstein, good old Albert, bless his heart, would have said, you're crazy. You're crazy. I used to think eating four or five donuts, stopping at Panera Bread, and taking an extra one home and saying, hi, honey, I got donuts for us. And I was told, you're still picking up weight. What? You're not eating all this stuff anymore. I'm like, uh-uh. Mm -mm. No. But my gig was blown because I was doing the same thing over and over again. I thought about all the things that have happened since 1968, since the assassination of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. I share with you before where I was and how my mother fell down at the yellow cab stand in front of the Greyhound station that used to be at Fifth, on Fifth Street near Maine because nobody would take us home. I was too young to understand a lot of things then. But see, as we grow up, we get wiser. And now is the time to put that wisdom to youth. To youth, to use. To youth, to use. To youth, I'm saying reach out to them. They are your children. 
if all of us are related through that divine connection to youth, to you, reach out to them. I invite you to go out into the community as Pat did, as Jack did. And don't let the fellas standing on the corner with their pants hanging down scare you. Don't let the fellas riding their skateboards through downtown Cincinnati scare you. Because if you stop and talk to them, they may just be the ones to come here and say, oh, you're having a problem with your computer. Let me fix it. See, you take the widget and the gidget and you do this. <laughs> See the love and the light of God in everything. And it is a hard thing to do. I invite you, Unity, to do something about homelessness. I invite you, Unity, it's a grand rising and to do something about hatred. I invite you, Unity, to stand up and do something about the folks that are censoring the books that our children are reading and saying black history, what happened in slavery, helped us along the way. I think not. As the kids would say, those youth, keep it 100. Let us look at what is ours to do. As we celebrate the legacy of Martin Luther King Jr., tomorrow he would have been 84 years old. I cannot help but wonder what he would think about what's going on right now. A man who died for unity, for equity, equal rights, civil rights for all people. I see the Reverend Dr. William Barber fighting that fight now. He has a disability, as do I. As I told you before, he is extremely handy, capable, and so am I. <laughs> But it broke my heart to read in the paper where he went to see the color purple about a, two weeks ago. And he has to have his own chair. So at the theaters, there are spaces for you to have your own chair. And he didn't have a wheelchair. He just had a chair that's comfortable for him to sit in and get out of. And he was asked to leave. He was escorted out. The police were called. Doing nothing is still doing something, my friends. And doing nothing is the something that you should not do. The theater folks have apologized. This great man who travels around the country and beyond, who has been with ministers from Unity, Centers for Spiritual Living, good Baptist ministers from all over the country saying it's inhumane how you're treating the kids that come across the borders and separate them from their mama and daddy. He's doing something. We can do something too. I wonder what Martin Luther King would say today about this new industry called prisons, where some of them are traded on the New York Stock Exchange. There are more people of color in prison in the United States now than in any other country in the world. It is time for us to do something. It is time for us to do something. See, this is unacceptable. It was unacceptable for me, too, to play a game called Step It and Fetch It when I was stopped several years ago on Columbia Parkway, which turns into Route 50 going into Terrace Park. You know, there's a little speed challenge there. It drops real quick. And I'm a little chubby. I like to pick up some speed because I walk slow. <laughs> I was coming from the hairdresser. Back then, I had my jerry curl. 
and my stylist was in Milford, Ohio. She said, Jay, now, I know how you drive, girlfriend. Now, you be careful. Don't go back through Indian Hill. Just go out Terrace Park. But you be careful, okay? You promise me you're going to be careful. I said, yes. She said, I mean, slow up. I've been in the car with you. I said, okay. And I got to Terrace Park and thought I was doing all right, and I thought I was through with Terrace Park. So I said, mm, and these bright lights pulled me over. And I'm ashamed of what I did. Because I sat there, you know when you get a jerry curl, you, it's late at night, it's kind of damp. You have, you have, it looks like a shower cap you have on to keep the moisture in, you know. I had on my great big old hoop earrings, make these look small. Roll down your window, please. I said, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because I was afraid. They said, ma'am, do you know how fast you've gone? I said, no, sir, I ain't used to these parts. I said, sir, you sure do have a nice uniform on there. Does your mama press your uniform for you? Oh, I know your mama just takes care of you. She's so proud. Ma'am, step out of the car. I said, okay, let me get my cane now. I got a handicap sticker in my glove department. I'm going to show you that. Mm -hmm, I have a cane. I'm not, don't shoot me now, okay? I was terrified. And my ignorance oozed out of me. My bias oozed out of me. It's not just that he wanted to stop me for going fast. I had a tail light out. But I was afraid of that man with that gun whose job is to serve and protect all of us. And I was ashamed at playing step and fetch it. I told my family about the story and they weren't amused. You were raised better. And they didn't call me JJ, they called me my government name, Jeannie. I was hurt. He didn't give me a ticket. But he did tell me to get that light fixed. I wonder, he didn't have me get out of the car either when he saw the cane and my handicap sticker. But I wonder so much, what would Martin say? What would Dr. King say about my behavior then and about my behavior now. Am I, as an individual, doing as much as I can do at this time in our life when we are so divided, when hatred is spread across the land like peanut butter and molasses because somebody looks different than we do? That did not stop the Good Samaritan, did it? We have to be better. This is our grand rising unity. It is our grand rising to take it to the streets and go out there and do whatever we can to help another divine expression of God, which we all are, rise up. You may say, what can I do? It's just me. I love reading articles on the Good News Network. And I read about a man this week who sold his company, a man in Canada, Brunswick, I believe it is, who sold his company to Salesforce. He made a little change, $383 million. But through his technical company, he was doing research and trying to figure out why do we keep crunching numbers on the homeless problem? What are we doing? Why aren't we answering the call to fix this problem? I believe maybe he heard the song, God Chose Him. And he decided to do something. And he created a nonprofit company, got a building, his sons are involved, and he's committed to building 99 tiny homes 
for the homeless in that area. Right now, he's halfway there because they are up to speed in building two houses every 60 or 70 days. Kitchens, bathrooms, porch, or as we say down home, a front porch. You wave to your neighbors. So what's going on with us? Are we so insulated in our sacred space that we think homelessness is a political issue? That's an issue of everyone here. That is something that individuals can do something about. There are groups of faith-based institutions around Cincinnati volunteering for Habitat for Humanity. Let's do that. Let's see if there is a house around here that we can help with. Jesus was a carpenter. I know for sure all the stories about him. It's not in that book we call the Bible. He made things. He built things. He fixed things. It is our divine blessing from the Most High God that indwells in here to do something. Grand rising new thought unity. I look around and I had an experience as a new minister early on, right after I was licensed. I received a call from someone at one o'clock in the morning. He said, I'm gonna have to move. I said, now? He said, I have a gun, I'm going to kill myself. I couldn't hang up that phone. I thank God for my training. He said, I knew not to hang up that phone to make sure he was okay. But one of the things he said was, I live in an apartment building with these low class, no good people from Avondale. I said, son, he said, yes, J.J. I said, don't get it twisted. I worked a long time for this title, 10 years. It's Reverend J.J. OK, let's get that right. I'm sorry. Yeah, you are. But let's talk about this. I said, I'm from Avondale, raised in Avondale. My cousin lived next door. She's an MD, medical doctor. Have lots of teachers and professional people I grew up with in Avondale. So let's not get it twisted. How can I help you? I need a place to stay. I had to step back and examine myself quickly because that bias was coming up because he hurt my feelings. Ministers, people of faith in here, don't let your feelings be hurt. Step back and see that person that says these kinds of things with your heart. And I surely helped him. It took three months, but he got a place. And I'm grateful that I knew to look at him by dropping that thing that was over me after he said what he said, that I allowed myself to be hurt. And that I was able to see his divinity. Who's ready to do that in here? Who's ready to see the God in everybody and take it to the streets? Who here is ready for the grand rising of unity to go to the streets with Sister Director Kim and say, come to my house. On Wednesdays, we're having a dinner or a lunch, and you all are invited. How many of you have been to visit the nursing facilities within a two mile radius or less of this building where some people don't get visits. How many of you are willing to go and meet those people where they are and just talk to them? Or start a pen pal club with the school. I know you're working on your youth ministry. Don't say it hasn't been done before. Maybe not. But see, Pat and Jack left you a foundation. The Fillmores left a foundation. 
we can go out there together in faith and love and be the unity better than ever before. It's a grand rising. Some people say color matters. It doesn't. But for some, it does. We're going into this election year. We don't know what's going to happen. But I'm one that believes in that collective voice of prayer that works miracles because, see, I'm still standing here. Folks thought I wouldn't be, but it was all those prayers. Centers for Spiritual Living, my center made a blanket for me and prayed over it that was with me every chemo treatment for a year. I still have that blanket. That's an act of love and an act of kindness. Because did that blanket heal me? It helped. Because is it done unto you as you believe? And if I believe the power in that blanket, the power in those prayers that were said over that blanket helped me, I'm okay. And you're okay. You can do that. There's a senior complex down the road of peace in two directions. Some of them like to knit. Have them come up here and fix lunch for them. You may have to go get them. And a few of them, okay, they may be my cousins, may say, baby, on the way back, I got to put my number on. Let them get their scratch off. But see, the young people here that don't have that skill can learn something from them. Am I right? You build relationship. You listen to their stories. You listen to their triumphs. You listen to the man who says, I once played with Ray Charles. You make them feel and know that they matter because they are divine expressions of God. And so are you. The time now is not for us to shrivel up and hide. The time now is for us to shout loud from the street corner to the bar. Did I say bar? I sure did. Go in there. Have a glass of wine or whatever you want and sit down and talk to somebody. It's all right. I honor you all for participating in the Gay Pride Parade. It was a beautiful sight. It was a day that I'll never forget. My spiritual home marching. Go on, y'all. Kim up there doing her thing. Go on, y'all. There's more for us to do. Maybe fellowship with a church of color. I've seen that for the first time in Madisonville about uh, right before Christmas. I went to St. Luke AME Church, African Methodist Episcopal. Man was sitting out there eating a breakfast biscuit in his truck. He said, we ain't here. It's just me. I'm supposed to sit here to tell you where to go. I said, say what? Part of my job is to visit other churches, other faith institutions. So he said, I'll lead the way, young lady. He called me young lady. I got touched. I'm six decades plus. And he said, young lady. I said, okay. Bless your heart. And he took me to the Episcopal Church. And they worshiped together and sang together. One God, one faith, one baptism. Do you believe that? I said, one God, one faith, one baptism. Do you believe that? Do you believe it? Do you receive it? That is ours to do. Let us honor Dr. King by knowing it's a new season, it's a new day. Let us honor Dr. King and Reverend Dr. Barber as well by saying we support you. We support our neighbors. Sometimes it's sending a dollar or two 
But you can't buy time, can you? You can't buy compassion. And that's who we are here. When I met Pat Barker at Xavier University, I felt her compassion. Somewhat regal and very stylish she was, but I felt her compassion. I ask all of you to feel the compassion of those people that are our brothers and sisters, the non-binary. Reverend Barber embraces all people. So did Martin Luther King Jr. In my mind's eye just now, I just saw him walking with the flag with Kim during Gay Pride and with Sister Althea singing at the Avondale Black Family Reunion. I see that in my mind's eye. In my mind's eye right now, I see this sanctuary, this sacred place packed. There are 100 people over there. Get used to turning over there saying good morning. Because sometime this year, you're going to be able to do that. I look in the balcony because that's where I used to have to sit sometimes. I had trouble picking out my lipstick. I was late. But I still walked by faith and enjoyed the service and enjoyed the love. I invite you to do something. Grand Rising Unity, are you with me on this? Are you with me on this? Let us pray and take it to the streets. It's a new season, it's a new day. Divine Spirit, Mother, Father, God, I give thanks for today. I give thanks for the love, the joy, the peace, the poise, and the presence of spirit in my lives, in the lives of everyone in this place. As the musicians hit the notes on the bass and on the, on the drums and on the violin and on the keyboard, oh, happy day. They make a joyful noise unto your house, spirit. And all of us are in praise. And as we move towards the end of this service today, may we remain in praise. Where may we remain knowing the time is now for our grand rising to go beyond the walls of Macmillan and Woodburn and reach out and touch. If you receive that to say, say amen. And so it is. Ashe, thank you. It's a new season. It's a new day, a fresh anointing is flowing my way, oh yes it is, it's a season of power and prosperity. It's a new season, and it's coming to me. It's a new season. It's a new season. It's a new day. A fresh and fresh anointing. A fresh anointing. It's flowing our way. It's flowing my way. It's a season of power. It's a season of up no longer can he bother me cause the creator of the universe he fathers me and it's for transfer all my children's children shall be free it's a new season it's a new season if you don't know by now you know you know it's jubilee well 
debts are canceled and your children walk in victory. It's so available to you right now. Just taste and see. It's a new season. It's a new season. It's a new season. It's a new season. Oh, yes, it is. It's a new day. That fresh anointing. A fresh anointing. It's coming, coming your way. It's flowing my way. Oh, yes, it is. It's a season of power. And prosperity, too. Prosperity. It's a new season. Oh, yes, it is. It's a new season. Brand new season, y'all. It's a new Tried in the fire and you're coming out. Go! All that was stolen is returned to you a hundredfold. Tried in the fire, but it's coming out. Go! All that was stolen is returned to you a hundredfold. Tried in the fire, but it's coming out. Go! It's a new season coming to me. It's a new season. Oh, yes, it is. It's a new day. A fresh and a new season, y'all. Stand up and be accounted for. It's that time in our service where we say our offertory blessing as we take our tithes and our offerings in our hand. And won't you say the offertory blessing with me? Divine love moving in and through me blesses and multiplies all that I give and all that I receive. And there's um, donate a machine in the back if you're giving a consistent giver would you put your consistent giving card in the pot basket there's a machine in the back if you want to use a credit card and online you can push the donate button or you can do snail mail whatever is your preference we are here or to the receive QR code. oh yes i haven't seen anyone use this alice is anyone out there using this qr code <laughs> hmm don't be scared. Just try it. You might like it. It's easy. Okay, Alice. Well, I can go ahead and introduce our chaplains. Our chaplains today are Susanna and Loren, and Sandy's at home holding sacred space with us also. If you have a prayer request, see a chaplain. Or you can also put a prayer request in the prayer box. And there's a prayer box in the back, and there's two in, one in Friendship Hall. So we're always available. These prayer requests are prayed for here, and we hold you all in sacred space for 30 days, and then and they're sent to New Thought Unity Center also, and they hold them in sacred space for 30 days, so prayer consciousness is all around this place. You're always prayed up. Silent unity, yes, Alice. So, we've got a bunch of folks online today, and we'd like to say hello to them. Uh, Joe and Teresa said good morning from Rockford, Illinois. Uh, it's 11 below here with a wind chill of 34 below. Oh, and we thought we were cold. Mm -mm. Beth sends hugs from Flagler Beach, Florida. That sounds nice. Cheryl Ann says good morning from Pleasant Ridge. Flo Stevenson says good morning from Madisonville. Maria and Elle are listening in from Deer Park. And Brenda Zeckmeister sending hugs from Youngstown, New York. You're all over the place. <laughs> and Sandy Allen is sending you prayers from my home here in Roselawn. So thank you all for being with us online this morning. Let us pray. Divine Spirit, we bless this offering. We bless what was given here in this sacred space and what's being given online. We bless the givers. We bless those who are giving of their time and talent 
as well to keep this New Thought Unity Center going. It's our grand rising right now, Spirit. We know our bounty is about to overflow. And we say, thank you, thank you, thank you, sweet spirit. Amen. Amen. And there's a lot of folks that we want to thank this morning. Thank you, JJ. Reverend JJ, Reverend JJ it's JJ. wonderful thank to have you, you here Amen. again. Thank you to all the folks in the booth that help us be seen and heard. Linda, Sky, and Jean, busy back there. And to the band, our wonderful band. Michael, Randy, Peg, and Brian, and my fellow songstresses, Jenny and Althea, and I'm Alice. Next Sunday, Kim Ballou will be back on the platform, and we're looking forward to that as well. So, it's time to make a big circle, stretch it out, grab a hand, We'll say our prayer of alignment. our prayer of alignment. Linda. Prayer yeah. of alignment. We are we light. light. We illuminate the world. We are love. We love unconditionally. We are prayer. We are the divine in action. We are presence. We are awake to our divine identity. God is. I am. We are, and all is well. Turn
to you a hundredfold. Tried in the fire, but you're coming out. Go! All that was stolen is returned to you a hundredfold. Tried in the fire, but you're coming out. It's fun.